My name is Scott Smithson, and this is my God story. I had a difficult time growing up. My father was an alcoholic. I was extremely asthmatic. I had a severe stuttering problem. And by the time I reached my teens, I developed a type of acne that was very disfiguring, which is evidenced by the scars I still carry today. Outside of the fact that I was really good in school, I did not have a lot going for me. And I decided early on that if I was gonna make it, I was gonna to have to do it on my own. So I started to distance myself from my family and, creating the, and created this world that was all about me and about my success. A world in which people's value to me was based entirely on what they could do for me. When they no longer had value, I just cast them aside and moved on because I really did not have time to be engaging in relationships that were unproductive. By the time I reached college, I had already discovered my father's love for alcohol. And while I was there, I developed this hatred for God. I hated God. And I hated Christians because they were always meddling in and trying to interfere with your life. And I was very vocal and belligerent about telling them that. I actually found great joy in mocking them and ridiculing their God. Life was good until I hit my late 20s. And then suddenly this world I created just started crumbling around me. And I reached the point I didn't even want to live. I figured if this is all life has to offer, then who cares and why even try? And I started to give up. I certainly had no Christian influence in my life at this point. But I can, looking back, I can see God was already stirring the waters and beginning ready to act. And one night I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned for hours and I went out to take a walk. And while I was walking, I just looked into heavens and screamed, God, if you are real, take my life and do something with it. You can't screw it up any more than I have. Let me just say, that's not a prayer I recommend anybody say. But thankfully, we serve a God who's more concerned with what is on our heart than our words. And I was changed in an instant. I knew immediately I was different. And I struggled with that because I didn't have any Christian friends. I didn't have a church. I had no one to help me understand and process what was going on. But God was so faithful to make himself clearly known to me over the next few days. And he quickly took me to a major life crossroad. And at that point, I decided I was gonna stand with Jesus and I've never looked back. In many ways, my life's the same. I have ups and downs, I have successes and failures, I struggle, I have challenges. But the difference is, whether I'm on the mountaintop celebrating or I'm stumbling just trying to make it through the valley, I never walk alone. God is always with me. And he's been so faithful to always provide what I need, when I need it, how I need it, in accordance to his will, not mine. He has taught me that the things of this earth, the stuff that I was relying upon for my success, for my identity, for my hope, are fleeting and can, cannot compare to the treasures that are being stored up in heaven and the assurance of spending eternity with Jesus. I've met many people who have been praying for someone in their life for a long time, and they've lost hope because they think that person will never get it. My life stands as a testament as to why you should never quit praying and never underestimate the power of God to change a person's life. If he can change someone like me, he can change anyone.